We're sitting here with Bella Thorne. Now, Bella, you're a monster on social. You've got 19 million followers on Instagram, 10 on Facebook, about 10 on Twitter. Um, those, those numbers correct? Um, they are around correct. Around yes. correct. Yeah, I mean, this isn't, correct. you know, we're not having a survey. This doesn't need to be exact. <laughs> we're not a lot of in your social media. But the point is, like, you're such a monster on there. And I think part of it is you being real. Like, you, you show your acne, you show yourself, like, not in these super glam photos like a lot of people do. do you, is that why you think you're so successful on there? Um, I don't know. I don't know why. Um, I think that one of the reasons why people follow me on my socials is, yeah, I guess because they're seeing somebody that they're like, that's what my best friend does. That's what I do. I wear the same shit as her, or I struggle with acting just as she does, or, you know, I like to show me going to the bathroom. Some people think that's really weird. I think it's fucking hilarious. I'm sorry if you're offended. Unfollow me. <laughs> people are like, they like to click on my shit because they really never know what they're going to see of me, whether I'm glam or doing nothing or chilling or on set. So I think that it's, um, definitely a difference on socials it was it was funny to me jessica chastain and snoop dogg gave you like the same advice yeah same career advice which was be yourself don't listen to all the other people out there kind of put try to put you in, a, in your box or put you in a box mm -hmm. now you seem i mean how authentic are you now do you feel comfortable how you're portrayed uh very authentic i mean i do all of my if you go on my socials, it's me writing it. It's me saying it. It's me posting it. I don't have any social media management whatsoever. So it is all me. So yeah, if you go on my socials, you're definitely going to see different parts of me. Yeah, I came from the channel and I was told to be a very different person than I am, which is okay because on that road, I've... One of those stories, though, I thought was interesting was like when you're 14, I read somewhere that you're wearing a bikini. Like a skimpy bikini, and yeah, like somebody did these, like, whoa, 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 like, that's not cool. So somebody took a photo of me in a bathing suit. Yeah, it was a sexy bathing suit. It's black. It's got, like, a little bit of, like, fun little lace uh, underneath. My mom picked it out. It was cute. I don't know. And then... No big deal. It was... You're good. They said, you're lucky that Bella has such a fan base that we can't afford to fire her at this moment in time. But if she does one more other thing, we will. Is that scary, and though, at 14... Because your father passed away when you were nine. Right? Mm -hmm. So you were working at a young age and was that scary? Like, hey, this is a real job, a real good paying gig. I don't want to get fired. Like, was there some of that too? Well, the reason that we took the um, Shake It Up really in the first place was because we were about to be living on the streets. So it wasn't really a choice. So yeah, when it was like hold up there, you know. Although I did get off the channel at like 15 and a half, so it really wasn't even that long mm -hmm. of me being on it. After I came off the channel, I'd only done all drama before that. I was on HBO, I was on Big Love. Not to rush, that was like one of your first gigs, right? How <laughs> yeah, cool was that? Yeah, it was literally that? my first Great thing. Show. And um, coming out of there and then going to the Disney Channel and coming off the Disney Channel, I had a lot of casting directors that were like, absolutely won't read her, sorry, no. And I had made good with those casting directors already. So it was like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, just because I was on the Disney Channel. So for, there was quite a few auditions where two of them, I showed up <laughs> at 15 and a half. And I was like, I have the sides. You have to read me. <laughs> and they were like, you are not, we're not supposed to be reading you today. And mm -hmm. I was like, I'm here. Please just let me do the first scene, and I will show you that it's 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 worth seeing the second scene. You had to hustle <laughs> at a young age. <laughs> yeah, ever since that, I was little. Do you think that came out of necessity? Like, hey, you know, we're, you know, you had humble beginnings. It's like I gotta figure this out. Like I gotta make it happen. It's definitely like when nothing is handed to you, you're always like scraping for it. Mama, what you <laughs> doing? You took my train. Get you know, on camera, just drink a little juice. This is an LA Mama. dog right here. Drinking Come fresh, on. cold fresh juice. Oh. oh, girl. Oh, so cute. Who's this? What's her name? Um, This is Tampon. <laughs> drinking red juice? <laughs> yeah. Tampon drinking red juice off the floor. Oh, that's funny. She's so sweet. You're writing a book. You're writing a show. You're going on. <laughs> writing another I, show. Yeah, like, you write all <laughs> I write a lot. I'm also directing a lot right now. Right now, mostly directing music videos. You've got like serious projects in the works too. I read you've got that Natalie Portman. Mm -hmm. 
Holmes is that's in that. coming out. Jessica um, Chastain. Natalie Portman, Jessica Chastain, Kathy Bates, Kit Harrington, um, Jacob Tembley. Uh, well, forget him. That's a lot of girl power. Him. I know, I'm just kidding. No, no, Dr. Jacob. <laughs> but that's a lot of girl power. Like, was that empowering? I mean, from Kathy Bates to you, that's like a full spectrum of a oh, lot of talent. Yeah, I mean, I was just like, thank you for thinking of me for this movie. Like, I don't care if I, like, give me two lines. I yeah. will be here every pay day. Me, me yeah, they, don't no, care. don't pay me anything. I will be here. I've always loved Jessica Chastain. Like, yeah. I've just always just been like, wow, she's amazing. But meeting her in person, you and know, working and working with her and just seeing her, her energy and her light, she was so sweet to me. She took me under her wing. I was watching her in our scenes just so distracted by her Does it make you step graciousness. Your game up too? I think it made me set my game down because do I was like, oh, <laughs> the girl I love crush, you, Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> I just love you so much. And like the advice that she and Snoop gave me seems like a little. Um, have you, did you plain. like hang out with Snoop too? Yeah. Did you get to smoke with him? Um, I do have. Yes, we. Yes. How cool is um, that? It's awesome because he has told me before, like, B, you're the only one that can keep up with me. And I'm like, Snoop Dogg just said that. It's so cool. But he That should be like really... on your Instagram profile. Like, quote from Snoop. Like, that should be it in your bio somewhere. Yeah, that would be awesome. I'll put that on my private Instagram. What about the Me Too movement and, and Time's Up and all that? Like, because you've been an actress. I mean, you started modeling when you were like a little kid and you've been a working actress your whole life. Like, have you run into any of that in, in your life or you've been pretty safe? Um, I mean, I've had, you know, like creepy. flirtatious things. I've had people f flirt with me. I'm not surprised nor shocked nor offended. Um, I've never had anyone take me to a place where I was like, that was super uncomfortable. Please get out of my room. Mm -hmm. I've never luckily um, been put in those situations, but maybe, you know, I was put in those situations my whole life. <laughs> um, and I know that most of the time when people are like directors or writers or something, or, you know, it's a light flirtation. It's like you're working on set for 19 hours a day with these people all day long. It's very easy to mistake something that they're saying as something else, or, you know, maybe it is really what they mean. I'm lucky enough that I haven't been put in any situation in Hollywood that has been bad enough in that sense where I'm like, oh, fuck, this is scary. What am I going to do to get out of here? You talked about um, being molested earlier. Do you do you regret at all saying that on social media? I saw you talk about it on Instagram, you talked about it on Twitter, and then just the coverage it got and the questions. Who is it? What happened? Blah, blah, blah. Do, do, you re do you wish you censored yourself sometimes? Like, do you ever regret it after you say it? I've been thinking about saying it for a really long time. I was just very sad. I, uh, I remember uh, I was laying in bed and the first thing I tweeted was someone said this stupid fucking comment that said, um, was it Disney or are you, were, were you just um, molested or were you just raped or something? And I was like, no, it wasn't Disney. And yeah, it was. So angry that I just tweeted it out. And I was like, oh, fuck, do I delete it? <laughs> and then I was like, no. Bella, you just let it stay on there. And then I didn't say anything about it for a while. When the second one that I did, which was very more um, really being blatant about it, I tweeted that and then I was like, fuck. And I called my manager um, and I was like, look at my tweet, I just screenshotted it to you. And he was like, oh, Bella. And I was like, is, that, is, it, is it bad? And he was like, is it bad? Bella, there's nothing bad about this. That's this is good. And I was like, he was like, you are not any less of a person because this has happened to you. And it was like one of the first times that someone had actually said that to me since it happened. And it really meant the world to me. Mama. She's crazy. Yeah. Just like her mom. <laughs> what advice do you have for your younger fans out there right now? Like, what do you want to say to them? Because they're going to be watching. Go out of your way to be nice. Even when you don't want to be, even when you're tired and you don't really feel like asking someone how their day is because you have 8,000 other things on your mind. That's one of the first things you have to think about in the morning, I really feel, is 
how to be nice. And it goes in the small ways. When people come over our house, we'll see friends. They'll be so negative with each other. Yo, you're a dick, bro. No, fuck you. Fuck you. You're just style shit. And like, then you'll look at our group and literally our whole group is just like, oh my God, I love this. Look how great that Your whole, is. Everybody in this wow. house hugged me when I came in. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like a house full of huggers. Yeah, like we're, we're, we really live that hippie positive like life and it really fucking makes a difference. What projects are you, are you promoting? What do you got coming up? Oh, goodness. Uh... Well, the movie Midnight Sun is coming out March 23rd. Um, then I have some some music coming out. Um, the record label will be coming out anytime this month. So we're doing a lot of You're stuff with that. You're coming out with a record that. label, not just a uh -huh. CD? Okay. A record label. Um, Filthy Fangs. <laughs> Why Filthy Fangs? Um, because it's dope. <laughs> it was originally going to be Bad Cat, you know, but Bad Cat is just really hard to trademark. So. Filthy Fangs is what we have stuck with, FF Records. Um, and then music movies, the show airs in April. Um, and then I have another movie coming out after that. Um, and then, yeah, I guess just more music going on tours and such. Okay, cool. Check it out, Bella Thorne. Follow her on Instagram, follow her on Twitter. She's everywhere. Make or sure don't. You, or don't. Or you don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Action! I think influencer marketing is going to have an incredible golden era of a decade. I think we're in the beginning of it, and I'm very fond of it. The first influence and business summit of its kind brings together the power players behind the most recognized personalities, content creators, outliers, and brands leading today's influencer revolution. Hosted and created by the most experienced marketers and brand builders in the game, the business moguls behind the talent, and the celebrity influencers forging a new and powerful industry themselves. Together for the first time in Austin, proceeding south by Southwest Interactive, we will set the stage for creative collaboration and spark discussions that will shape the future of the modern phenomenon, creating and elevating people brands.